We're back with a very long distance remote. Astronaut Scott Kelly joins us from the International Space Station. Commander Kelly, you first went into space in 1999. What's different now? Well, my first flight was on uh, just on the space shuttle. It was to the Hubble Space Telescope, and that was before we had the uh, the International Space Station. It wasn't uh, a few years later uh, before we launched the the first uh, people to the space station, the first uh, human presence in space, which we've had for the last 15 years. You know, it's a much different experience now with uh, this International Space Station and the international cooperation and all the research we have that go with it than what we were doing uh, back in the 1990s and previously. How about for you personally, though, being in space now relative to that very first time you went? Well, you know, flying in space is a, a privilege, whether it's the first time or the or the fourth time. But, you know, obviously back then it was my first flight. It was uh, seven days long. And, uh, you know, since then I've flown three times previous uh, or, or subsequently durations of, you know, 13 days, 159 days. And now, uh, you know, this next this flight will be close to a year. So they've been getting uh, larger and larger each time. And I think if I fly a fifth time, it'll have to be to Mars to get that kind of uh, duration that'll be required to keep up the trend. Before we go any further, what room are you in there? So I am in the, the U.S. Destiny Laboratory module, which is like the main uh, module for the U.S. side of the space station. It's uh, a combination of uh, laboratory and sort of like the bridge of a ship. Um, I guess you could describe it with a lot of, uh, of the systems that are required to operate the space station are in here, as well as experiments. And in case there are any conspiracy theorists out there, how would you prove to us that you're in zero gravity? I, I would just do this for, for a while, and uh, unless I was falling, that would be kind of hard to do. <laughs> NASA has put a call out for those who might want to be astronauts. What would you look for if you were on the hiring committee? So I was on the uh, hiring committee last time, and uh, we picked a great group. And, you know, what we look for are people that are technically uh, competent. You need a, a, a background in, uh, you know, in the scientific uh, field, whether it's uh, as a scientist, an engineer, a medical doctor, or, you know, a, a person that's in the military with some kind of technical background. And we want those people to have proven themselves in their current profession, being very high performers, but also people that get along uh, well as part of a team, because this is a huge team effort, not just your crew members here on board, but also with all the folks you have to work with on the ground. You know, just a really uh, a diverse uh, group of people with, uh, you know, skills that are very broad. Um, we have a lot of systems here on board the space station, and we can't call a repairman when uh, one of them breaks, so we have to be uh, kind of generalists in a lot of ways. Have you noticed any of the effects on space that you're there to, uh, to, to look at and discover in yourself? You know, a lot of the data we collect is stuff that has to be analyzed on the ground. For instance, we can't see, you know, bone loss um, ourselves. You know, that's something that, uh, you know, we'll have to notice with imaging technology when I get back. But, uh, you know, there are certain things we could see with regards to muscle mass, like the amount of muscle I've lost in my calf muscle, uh, because we don't walk up here is pretty significant. You know, some effects on my vision initially, although those have kind of leveled off and have been pretty consistent with what I had on my last flight. But we're also looking at, you know, the effects of this environment, um, the microgravity environment and the radiation environment on myself on a genetic level, how my DNA is affected. And that's using my brother as a control subject on the ground. Is it still a thrill to look out the window? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, the earth is a very beautiful place. It's thrilling to look at, you know, but like a lot of things, you know, if you see it often, it's not as thrilling as the first time you've seen it, but it's still, uh, it still never fails to impress. Have you been following the news from uh, up there? I mean, have you watched, what do you think of the presidential campaign that's going on down here on Earth. Yeah, so we have uh, have the news on um, pretty much all the time, unless we're watching something specific. And we have coverage about you know fifty, you know about fifty minutes every hour. So I do follow it very closely, and I have to say it's uh, it's been very interesting. Commander Scott Kelly, thanks so much.